Step outside and look around, there's art and nature. It's all over Delmarva. And that's the idea behind the Art and Nature Photo Festival put on by the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art, Salisbury University. And here to tell us more is the museum's executive director, Kristen Sullivan. Thank you for Thank being you for having here me. this it's afternoon. Great to be here. This is the ninth year yes. for the, the festival. So mm -hmm. tell us about it. Sure, so yeah, it's one of our favorite events we do every year. You know, this, like you said, this is our ninth year. And we anticipate having around a thousand photographs actually hung in our galleries. So we uh, display all of the submissions mm -hmm. and we get entries from folks all over the country, uh, some from Canada, and we take them um, online so people can submit now um, mm -hmm. uh, digitally. And you can also bring photos in person on Friday, August 9th from 10 to 3. The mm -hmm. event runs from August 9th through the 11th. And we have multiple categories that you can enter. So there's birds, um, uh, wildlife other than birds, scenery, black and white, macro. I uh, know I'm forgetting something oh, here. Yeah. We have two new rotating categories, one for actual photographs uh, to be submitted and, and hung in the gallery. And that is um, humans in nature, oh, recognizing wow. that we are part of the natural environment Absolutely. and have an effect on it. Well, with that yeah. in mind, let's step back a little bit and talk about the purpose sure. of the event, yeah. our nature. Yeah, absolutely. So it's to celebrate really the ways that we um, appreciate the um, the beauty of the natural landscape, the beauty of Delmarva and beyond, and and share that with others. Mm -hmm. So, and we um, show and and accept entries from everyone from youth through professional photographers. So we do have divisions for youth and amateurs and professionals mm -hmm. and multiple categories within each of those divisions and so there are win uh, winners awarded in each of those cash prizes ribbons uh, select winners are displayed in the galleries for a time and and shown in our um, our journal as well oh wow so, so you brought in a, a, a picture mm -hmm. uh, of a bird and it's just amazing tell us yes. about it so this is actually the grand champion from last year's uh, festival and the grand champion is selected from all the categories all the divisions it was the best of the best and it was by Catherine Swoboda of Vienna, Virginia. Oh, that is great. And mm -hmm. like you said, pretty much anybody can enter this yes, contest. Absolutely. And in fact, if young folks want to enter, the first entry is free, um, thanks to the Bill Wallen Memorial Fund. Mm -hmm. um, but anyone can enter. And in fact, even if you only take photos on your cell phone, we have a smart device category. So you don't have to have big fancy equipment. Uh, you can do any sort of device that takes photos. We'll, we'll accept the photos and, and show those. Yeah. And I imagine it's pretty interesting for you to see all the submissions come in. I love them, yes. I mean, because you see places that you see every day through other people's eyes, mm -hmm. and you really get to see parts of the landscape, part of the Eastern Shore that maybe you don't get a chance to see yourself through this artistic lens. It's really great. Yeah, yeah. And then you went over all the categories, <coughs> and like you said, there's the new one, the yes. humans. And uh, humans in nature? Humans in nature, and then we also have an online-only category, so we're only accepting digital submissions, and there's instructions on our website, www.wardmuseum.org, for submissions that mm -hmm. and that is man versus nature so if you think about you know the tree roots that are coming through a sidewalk or ivy that's taking over a, an old barn or something like oh, that wow. ways that nature sort of reclaims its space yeah 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 <laughs> so, and, and, and what about the people who don't enter do you encourage people to just come out and absolutely look? and this month um, August that is is going to be free to um, all visitors thanks to a sponsorship from value carpet one so it's free to come and check out the contest we are also having a special pop-up exhibit this this year and we're really excited to bring part of Salisbury University's collection that hasn't been out in some time. It's a, a collection of Andy Warhol photos. Oh wow. So we're having a pop-up exhibit. Um, it's the everyday life of Andy Warhol and that's going to be in a, a separate space in the museum and you do need a wristband to get in there but there are a few ways to get in. Um, it's seven dollars for adults, five dollars for youth and seniors. Uh -huh. It's free if you're a competitor. We're also offering free entry to anyone who brings um, non-perishable food items. So inspired by Andy Warhol's soup cans, yeah. <laughs> we decided to work with Food for the Flock, which is Salisbury University's um, food drive program to help uh, students in need. So if you bring a non-perishable food item, you can get into that special exhibit. We're also doing um, a special artist after hours reception. So Friday, August 9th from five to eight, anybody's welcome to come by and check out the exhibits, check out the special exhibit, and we'll have 
a special talk by um, SU Galleries Director uh, Liz Kaufman. Oh my goodness, Kristen. Lots going on. So <laughs> much information. Of course, we're going to have all on our website, but here are the nuts and bolts of it's uh, August 9th through the 11th at the Ward Museum in Salisbury. And of course, like we said, times vary, lectures, workshops, yep. all kinds of stuff. It's all going to be on our website. WBOC is a proud sponsor too. Yes, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you coming in. Kristen Sullivan with the Ward Museum.